Well, heading back to school always means one thing, homework. And with textbooks, notebooks, and all of the supplies kids need nowadays, a child's backpack can get heavy pretty fast. We have Dr. Clint Freeman with us this morning from North Arkansas Chiropractic to tell us about how you can prevent back and neck pain. Dr. Freeman, thank you so much for being here with us this Good morning. morning. Good to be I'm going to fill up this backpack as we talk about backpack um, things and what parents need to know about. But how heavy is just too heavy for children. So backpacks aren't age, it's not based on age, it's based off yeah. of 10% of the child's body weight. So the heavier the child gets, the more they can handle in the backpack. Mm -hmm. So I think what we're filling up right now would be probably like an average student going back to school because we have colored pencils, paper, sure. um, and I mean already with just some of the supplies, it is very heavy. It is, and so uh, one thing you're going to want to do is start loading the heavy stuff First. First. Okay, so I already <laughs> You've did already very messed stuff, yeah. Bad. Um, but you're going to keep that heavy stuff closest yeah. to the straps, closest to the back as possible. Okay. And uh, the lighter it is, the farther it goes out. So what are some of the things parents at home can do to make sure that their backpacks for their children are the appropriate weight limit for their child? So you'll, like I said, you'll take the body weight of the, of the child, yeah. you'll take 10%, but then you also want to make sure that the straps on the backpack are fairly wide. Okay. Um, the, narrow, the, the more narrow the straps, it can actually cut off circulation. Um, you also want to make sure that the backpack sits high on the child's back. Uh, okay. You don't want to see, you see kids a lot with the backpack slouching to the lower part of the back. Mm -hmm. That's going to increase the actual, they're going to start leaning forward more. Um, so make sure the backpack is high. If the backpack has a pectoral strap that can actually click on the front, that's going to help a lot too. Okay, I was going to say this is yeah. definitely very uh, heavy already. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a common mistake, you know, we can go over all of these tips, but a lot of parents will make the mistake of just loading up the backpack. What can we do at home if our child experiences some back and neck pain? What are some of the remedies we can actually do? You bet. So always talk to your primary physician, okay. but um, some real kind of uh, easy tips is just a hot bath. Okay. A hot bath helps to relax muscles. Um, an ice pack, don't put the ice directly on the skin, yeah. make sure it's wrapped up in a cloth. But uh, an ice pack on the area of complaint for 10 to 15 minutes, that can also relieve some of the minor pain. Okay, Dr. Freeman, thank you so much for joining You're us welcome. this morning. Some great information, great tips. Uh, we appreciate it. And of course, we will have all of this information on our website. That's nwahomepage.com.